Hello everyone, welcome to Static GK quiz number 255. This video is aimed to help you with your state and central government exams like SSC, UPSC, state PSCs and banking and insurance related examinations like RRB, IBPs, etc. I'm Ritvisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Central Research Institute for Dryland Agriculture is located where? Correct answer is Hyderabad. The Central Research Institute for Dryland Agriculture or CRIDA is an institute under the Indian Council of Agricultural Research. It was formed in 1985 as the project directorate of the All India Coordinated Research Project for Dryland Agriculture. Which date is associated with the incident of Chauri Chaura? Correct answer is 5th February uh, 1922. So the Chauri Chaura incident occurred at Chauri Chaura in the Gorakhpur district of the United Province in British India on 5th of February 1922 when a large group of protesters participating in the non-cooperation movement clashed with the police who opened fire. This incident in fact caused Mahatma Gandhi at that time to call back his support from the non-cooperation movement. The gastric acid which is secreted by the stomach epithelium cells is actually which of the following? Gastric acid is actually HCl or hydrochloric acid. Uh, these cells are also called parietal cells and produce gastric acid in response to histamine, acetylchloine and gastrin receptors. Consumption of a high amount of which of the following may cause cirrhosis? Correct answer is alcohol. Alcoholic cirrhosis develops for between 10% and 20% of the individuals who drink heavily for a decade or more. Which among the following is or are correct regarding a mature sperm and ovum? The correct option here is option B which says that they both have equal number of chromosomes. So the number of chromosomes in a human being is 46 that is 23 pairs but it is reduced to 23 during the process of meiosis that is cell division. In a human egg or sperm there are 23 chromosomes one of which is an X or a Y. A human egg is haploid and has 23 chromosomes and a sperm is also haploid having 23 chromosomes. Which of the following is true regarding fraternal twins? Correct answer is they are exactly similar but they are not genetically identical which is why they sometimes grow up to look different. So twins are two offsprings produced by the same pregnancy. Twins can either be monozygotic or identical that is they develop from one zygote which splits and forms two embryos or dizygotic or fraternal meaning that each twin develops from a separate egg and each egg is fertilized by its own sperm. So basically like siblings but they are a uh, born during the same pregnancy. Which among the following functions as locus of the biochemical reactions in a body? Correct answer is cell membrane. The cell membrane holds enzymes of sequential reactions in close proximity. Hence all the chemical reactions happen in the cell membrane. A genetic code specifies how many kinds of amino acids? Correct answer is 20. There are as many as thousand 100,000 kinds of proteins that constitute the body and these comprise only of 20 kind of amino acids in various combinations. So these 20 different kinds of amino acids combine in different uh, combinations to form thousands of different proteins. What fraction of human blood is plasma? Correct answer is 55%. So blood plasma is the liquid component of whole blood and makes up approximately 55% of the total volume of blood. It is composed primarily of water with small amounts of minerals, salts, ions, nutrients and proteins in solution. In whole blood, red blood cells, leukocytes and platelets are suspended within the plasma. How many vertebrae does a human being have? Correct answer is 33. The vertebral column usually consists of 33 vertebrae. 24 of them are presacral vertebrae among which 7 are cervical, 12 thoracic and 5 lumbar followed by sacrum in which 5 are fused sacral vertebrae and the coccyx 4 frequently fused coccygeal vertebrae. You can see all this in the diagram on the right side of your screen. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.